Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, we are gonna talk about using handlers for our application or app, which is a download images app. Now you guys remember that you have been seeing this app here that lets you download images by clicking on them, click the button and that image gets downloaded to our file manager. So how can we do this using handlers? Well, there's not much that needs to change. Let's take a look at our code. What we have is the main activity. There's all our variables initialized. There's the download image method which gets called when the user clicks on the button download image. From there, we start our new thread that's gonna start. And of course, if you go there, this, this is the method which actually does the work of downloading the image. And inside the finally clause here, what we have is activity.run on UI thread. And there we are trying to update the progress bar once the image has been downloaded and so on so let's take a look at how we can edit this and make things better the first thing that we require is a handler object over here by saying handler handler over here the next thing of course we need to go here import the handler by saying android.os handler here initialize the handler by saying handler equals to new handler now in this case what I'm gonna do is use a different way of sending a message in the previous video if you guys have seen I sent a message object from the background thread to the main thread here I will post a runnable message so here is my handler instance which has been initialized now all the places like for example if you go to our thread which is this download images thread implements runnable inside the run method the first thing I want to do is show the progress bar to indicate the loading section so here I can just remove this I can directly say handler dot post and this will post my message by saying handler dot post what it needs is a runnable object so I'm gonna say new runnable here inside the run method I'm gonna paste this code which will show the progress bar as the first thing now what is going on let's take a look there is a download images thread that implements runnable it has a run method inside that a handler is trying to post a runnable object now this code inside this run method will run on the main thread so loading section dot set visibility view dot visible will be executed here at the top inside your main thread over there so from here we have shown the progress bar first then what we need to do is actually keep the progress bar visible while the image gets downloaded once the image is downloaded whether successful or unsuccessful we want to hide the progress bar once again so if you go up this is the method that downloads the images there is a try statement where all the file operations are performed catch catch and finally now the finally clause will run whether the image was downloaded successfully or not so here we can say handler again dot post this time just post a new runnable and everything else remains the same by saying loading section dot set visibility view dot gone blah 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 so at this point let's run this and take a look at that so there's our app up and running now if I click say image 6 the URL of the image is gonna appear here at the top and then if I click the download image button over there what you will see immediately is the loading section becomes visible because of the handler and then the things start downloading let's take image 7 and try downloading that so image 7 getting downloaded as you can see the loading bar becomes visible and it remains visible till the image is completed as far as downloading it is concerned however if you rotate the screen right now the progress bar disappears and well you're left with as things you had before so how do you handle the situation so despite all the advantages that are offered to us by the handler there is still the major issue of code being very messy second when the screen is rotated the activity gets destroyed and there doesn't seem to be a very clean or nice way of handling this you're welcome to try approaches like storing a reference to the new activity or like using weak references or you want to do something else like locking the orientation of the activity we will talk about how we're gonna handle these things when we talk about working with the same app using async task about rotation and stuff but in the meantime we still need to discuss how to communicate from the main thread to a background thread using a custom looper and a handler owned by the background thread and we are gonna talk about it in the upcoming videos in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw 
please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day